faced one way, a thousand years' separation. The other way, a hundred years' regret. Pray, dream of my sorrow. Pray, dispel the darkness from this world. The only light here is in memory, and the hope you instilled flickers. Alas, I know the truth. In this world, there is no salvation. In this world, there is no you. Where am I? This isn't the Somniel. Who are you? I am... no. It is no matter. My name lost its meaning long ago. But... I have this strange feeling. As if the two of us have met somewhere. We have never met before. Not in any way you would understand. I'm speaking to you from across a mirror. You are my reflection. And my land's last hope. Please, I need your assistance. Will you save those who are important to me? Of course. I'll help however I can. Really? You accept my plea without hearing what it entails? <laughs> I suppose I feel like helping you might ease some of my own anxieties. Almost as if this is a chance to get back... something that I lost a long time ago. In short, yes. I'm here for you. I'm glad to hear you say so. I was afraid you would refuse, since I'm unable to explain all the details. Suffice to say that the land I speak of is threatened by a foe with a wicked heart. The only hope for my people is for you to collect the seven bracelets. Bracelets? In my world, emblems dwell inside bracelets. You will need them in order to succeed. Now, I will transport you there. Those you encounter after arriving will guide you. Will you and I meet again? We will not. Nor have we ever met. Not even in this very moment. You speak so cryptically. Still, I get the feeling I will see you again. Be off now. I thank you, and wish you good fortune in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my fellow Divine Dragon my twin from another world. On your journey, I hope you feel joy, suffering, sorrow, and love, because I will feel nothing anymore. I will never awaken again. <laughs>